when I was no higher than this counter, little bitty boy, I'm watching my mother make duck and dressing because it was so good. I said, oh, now that I will not forget. Well, as with a lot of things, if you're not paying attention when you're a child at what the older folks are doing, including cooking, if you're not observing them and you don't remember it, it's not passed down to future generations. So we would be sitting here going by some place out right outside the subdivision, you know, letting somebody else cook Thanksgiving dinner for us. Miss out on the duck and dressing. I'm looking around. I don't see anyone watching me. This may be end of the line for duck and dressing unless someone, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, observe what I'm doing. How would they know? So I've got up most of the veggies. I'm fixing to grind these up. I've got the bell pepper and onion in here. This is all going in to cornbread. Watch this. See right here? I'll make this smaller and smaller. I'll keep doing this until I get all the little, see around the edge of the cornbread? So you gotta remember, we've been doing this in my lifetime, well, ever since I was a kid. But you say you've kept that going all the way to present date. That is correct. And the children love it. They say, whoo, that's some good dressing. You get to your rich crackers, look, you just peel you out about that many of them, watch done. So you just take your Ritz crackers. I go half Ritz and uh, half saltines. All this is going to be soaked in broth. The consistency, I'll show you about that later. Going into this besides the veggies, bell pepper, celery, garlic, and onions, cornbread, Ritz crackers, regular crackers, stale bread that's cooked. See, you got an old hot dog bun here. See right here? Once I get the broth in it, you'll be able to pour it, but it won't be like runny, runny, runny. So the consistency is, is pretty critical here to get the consistency right. This will be stiff enough. It'll hold up ducks when you set them on the top. You know, three mallards surrounded by teal. It's a wonderful world. Happy, happy, happy.